Here we go for the world title. Taylor and Lopez, Josh Taylor trying to stay unbeaten and retain his status as king in the junior welterweights. Dre Wood, the overhand left, so Taylor starts taking unnecessary. Something we will look for to see how he, but notice how much bigger Taylor is tonight. But it, the advantage in height. It's not a guy who's going to throw a lot of punches. It's very explosive. Oh, good shot right there from, Lo from Taylor. Left hand comes in from Taylor, and then they exchange on the inside once he got that real estate. And Taylor. now Taylor comes in with a Josh Taylor. But that's the start that he needs to have. Taylor up. That right hand off the hip. Now he comes in with a two-punch combination. Short cupping left hand on the inside. Left hook from Tiafimo. Tried to split the guard and goes underneath as Griffin was coming in. Is the body and the glove of Tiafimo Lopez. Trying to wrap around. One of the biggest mistakes that Tiafimo Lopez makes is he does on left side. It looks like just inside Taylor and Lopez. First round, Josh Taylor slightly got the best of Teofimo Lopez. Lopez. Bernardo. Teofimo Lopez is cut. Taylor came in. Ooh, good shot right there from Lopez. Oh. <laughs> Nearly a clash of heads. There's a body shot. We're going to come through the front door. He does so with a two-punch combination. Taylor looking to deliver on the inside. Left hook came in from Lopez. Good exchange. Not a lot of room for air from either fighter. Right lead from Lopez. Tried to time that game forward. Back to the jab for Lopez. Straight left hand from Josh Taylor to open up. Oh, and as Lopez was seated nearly on that white rope and Griffin was coming in for the break, a punch this was a concern for Team Lopez. Oh, and he said, hey, touch him up. I'm going to throw that southpaw jab while I'm doing it. Protect yourself at all times. Right uppercut throws Tiafimo off balance. That's, it. That's what Josh Taylor needs to continue to do is faint. Is off. That got Taylor's attention. There's the southpaw south world champion on the inside. Again, the Good blood that you right see there. is just an abrasion, not a cut. Just on the head at the moment. Good Taylor, shot 48 right there. Taylor needs to take advantage. Left hand comes in again. End of three. Been the referee for numerous big high stakes. He didn't like the position at in between the two fighters to make it clear. Taylor targeting that left hand. Oh, and a big shot by Taylor. Bernardo, what can you tell us in the corner? What are they saying? Mark Gordo that was telling you about as we get another push here. And on the off balance, and it allows you to land your shots. He also doesn't need to get caught up in the power game. Let take let Lopez. Have attention here at MSG. Standing in place, just looking for... Trying to create a little bit of separation. Taylor comes right back in with a three-punch combination. Sent off balance that time. Wasn't a clean punch that landed, but this is the kind of excitement and energy that Lopez... 159 total punches. Left hand comes in from Taylor. Punches last round. Lopez with a 17 to has been in the ring. That's right. But problem is... And that's the work rate, and there's a left uppercut. Had a lot of drama. Good potty shot. Ooh. Short. Right hand. And he posed, and Lopez took advantage. A short right hand on the inside as well there, as Taylor tries to smother him in that neutral corner. In front of a guy like this. Good work there as well, and then tried to dig underneath with the right hand. That's two shots in the fifth. Lopez did most of the best. Tiafimo's plenty strong enough to hang in at 140. And I we are chatting with here, Ricks. Right, you see the past few rounds for Lopez as he's been more productive. Taylor's landed flush 
on the chin of Lopez multiple times, and he's taken it well thus far. Chant has gone up here at MSG. You block it, you know I don't want to get hit with that clean. He can make you keep your hands at home and, and make you hesitant where you don't want to throw. So Came in, in this round. Looks like there's a cut around the right eye of T. And he hears the clap and hits the offense. And in the seventh round, and thus far, Taylor's had moments, but he's having fewer and fewer moments as they believe that down the stretch of the fight, Renat has to favor him. Ooh, good shot. As opposed to Taylor, who's old. Not seeing. Good shot with the right hand in between punches. Backed him up, and it buzzed him. If Taylor's not going to punch with both hands and do stay on point at all times. In this fight, the other 104. And now standing toe to toe on the inside and a right hand. Falling asleep mentally. From Tiafimo Lopez, who has overall an 82 to 58 count, Vasily Lomachenko on a night when he was crowned champion. Good shot right there. These right hands starting to get more and more of a landed. Right, right. In the body language and in the face of Taylor right now. Extreme confidence, Dre. I don't see a lot of confidence from Taylor, but I see a lot of confidence. You can see a little bit of damage to the right side of the face of Tiafimo, but to your point, we've been stepping over, taking angles. Given a wiggle to the hip. Fimo that everybody fell in love with stylistically on the way up on his right. Momentum back down the stretch, but I don't think things are going to get better. Oh! That lunging shot from Tia feeling it. And now look at this. Vintage Tia Fimo. It's a weight average as well. Says, look, he has to get in. Uh, Taylor with an uppercut. That hurt him, made him stand still, and... Tia Fimo trying to him. time that uppercut. That hurt him. He's not looking good. Two-punch combination. And Taylor's searching for answers while getting hit. I mean, that tells you all you need to... Wake himself up, remind himself that he's in MMA. Not all the belts, before his reputation, 16, 17 months, he's got to get it done tonight. I think about the layoff, Ooh. and I think about the stretch. Shot come. How about this story that is on Fimo Lopez? Body shot comes in. And clearly has not served him well. And a well-conditioned lead on the scorecards where he should he doesn't have to fight punch for punch with Taylor right now. The burden and the onus is on Taylor to make something happen. That's gonna play right into Lopez. Don't push him down, get up, don't push. Michael Griffin was given reminded Josh Taylor that I'm here. You brought it up earlier, Dre, of do not discount the ring IQ and the boxing ability of Tiafimo Lopez. That has proven true. Look at the upper body head movement now. Amateur and been boxing for most of his life. And all the talk we heard all week, those who were doubting if Tiafimo Lopez and this division would be in his last time out. With Joe McNally and I asked him, do you have a sense of urgency for Josh here? He says, no, if we win these next two rounds, we go back home with the belts. I would be surprised. I think Taylor needs a knockout to win. Lopez in much of a hurry right now. And is strong on the 12th. Whenever Lopez picks up his offense in the fight, maybe in the first two to three. Oh, he catches. And then goes to the body. We're here. After the events, the urgency that everybody else does. There's the right uppercut again, Dre. Followed by a left hook from Lopez. Lopez hears the clap and turns it on. And Taylor's loving what they are seeing out of Brooklyn. Is he two and a half minutes away from climbing? Can't 
hit the target. And then you get oh, hit. Oh, he sets return. him off balance on the state of boxing exclusively on the ESPN app. Go to ESPN Plus immediately following the fight, and we will have this. Be careful, you don't get knocked out in this last round. Oh, He's fatigued. three punch combination, including the right hands of the body tray. He's fatigued. Lunges again with the left of round number eight. Now he does it with the hook. Goes underneath. Josh Taylor just not there here coming down this. Let's see if Lopez can seal this fight with another big shot and try to hurt Taylor or put him down. Ooh. There's going to be a lot of I told you so coming from Tia Fimo and his father. It's reported chaos. Ooh. Look at this finish from Tia Fimo. Two rush drama to the stage. MSG, and he's about to be on top of the world again. Steve Gray scores the bout 115-113. Joe Basquale scores the bout 115-113. And Benoit Roussel scores the bout 117-111. For your winner by unanimous decision. And new WBO lineal junior welterweight champion of the world, the takeover, Tiafimo Lopez! The takeover.